Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I just got back home from work, but I wanted to tell you a story real quick. So guys, do you remember the time when we started this channel with field trip videos back in January this year? Um, actually, I was in Colombia at that time. The very first episode was the Agua Panela RV and then the Xenestis video. Make sure to check them out. I'll link them up here. But uh, more interestingly is that we have found another species of tarantula in Colombia just a few days before I decided to start with this video thing. Um, I would like to show them to you. So the tarantula we are going to talk about is Pamphobiteus ornatus. Um, that's the name. You most likely will pronounce it Pamphobiteus or something. That's totally fine. Uh, it goes with the English English pronunciation very well, Pamphobitis ornatus. Um, I really like this spider and in fact we have found this one in Colombia. Um, I also did a short clip of it just before I decided to make vlog style uh, videos about whole tarantula journeys. So we do have material and I would like to share it with you so you can yeah, enjoy. Pamphobiteus ornatus in the wild in Colombia. So let's just jump straight into the clip and I'll get some green screen overlay so I'll not interrupt your video experience. Back in December when I decided to make more content for the whole tarantula community out there, I decided to make a vlog style inspired by the Dark Dan and Exotic Slayer and other YouTubers who already did some back at home feeding pet tarantula videos. So what I did is I bought a video camera, made my very first trip to Colombia back in December 2018. No, that's not possible. We are still in 2018. Uh, back in December 2017, um, where I met up also with a friend of mine, Chris from Germany. He has been to Colombia several times before and he was able to show me some of the most beautiful tarantulas in Colombia and also Pamphobiteus ornatus. When we talk about this species, Pamphobiteus ornatus, it is in fact a species which is known to science for a huge amount of time, but without knowing the exact type locality, it was very hard to find the spots where this species is living. Chris did a great job in the past few years. Uh, he managed to find Pamphobiteus ornatus in the wild. And on this occasion, because we were searching in the very same area for another type of tarantula. He decided to show a colony to me and we just yeah walked around there, uh, checked the roadside embankment for holes of the tarantulas and luckily we did find several different specimens and not only adult females but we also found mature males. Adult males which differ completely in color when you compare them to the adult females and all in all it was just a huge success it wasn't it was not a real effort right for me at, at least because chris already found the spot so there was no research involved from my side it was a pure pure gift in the end so i was able to just go there he showed me where to search on uh, the location itself and after about i think five or ten minutes uh, we found the first females so that was that was an awesome experience to find this tarantula in the wild and yeah all in all we managed to tickle the spiders out during the day very easily uh, they were hungry somewhat it was starting of the rainy season in december they have um, several different rainy seasons smaller ones then there's another dry period coming and in this area in southern colombia there was just the rainy season about to start and therefore they yeah were quite hungry because now the insects and crickets and roaches are getting more active also because of the rainy season there is just more food in general overall and so it was really easy to to tickle them out during the day so it's a lot better to be able to tickle them out during the day so you don't have to go during the night in Colombia um, Actually, we do have some sketchy stories about nighttime in Colombia searching for tarantulas. It is not a fun thing to do. Um, maybe on another occasion I will talk about this more. So, if you have enjoyed this video with the 
pumpful potatoes ornatos in the wild. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Let me also know what you want to know about this species in general. Maybe there are more yeah, information-wise things I can give to you. This location about Pampho Potatoes or Natos is actually disclosed, or how do you want to say it, so it's not publicly available. Therefore, I can't really tell you where this species is living in Colombia, because there still is a lot of poaching going on and they lack in resources to, like, yeah, fund the people who should yeah, protect their natural habitats in Colombia itself. Pampopoteus ornatus actually lives in burrows from rodents, but also they dig uh, burrows themselves. The burrow itself is not that deep. It goes about 20 to 30 centimeters in, and uh, there is a yeah, little bit bigger chamber where the spider decides to rest. Um, that's all we can say. The temperature and the humidity is a different story. Humidity was overall extremely high. It was also raining quite often. And the fact that inside the burrow it is only about 20 to 30 centimeters deep, um, the humidity is still high, but the soil was not completely wet. So you have to imagine that the top layer of soil, because of the rain, is quite wet, but the layers underneath uh, the, the, the top layer of soil um, is actually not that moist. So in that case, in that specific case, um, it actually got drier the more it got into uh, the roadside embankment. So temperature wise, we did measure 27 to 28 degree outside in the shadow because when the sun is shining on a yeah, specific spot. Maybe the entrance of the tarantula burrow, it could go easily over 32, 33 degrees. But inside the burrow, um, actually there is only 22 to 23 degrees Celsius. So if you do keep tarantulas back at home, make sure you just don't go out, type in Google Colombia and the state name, province name something and get the the temperature uh, details of that region because this is the temperature outside on the top soil level if you want to call it. So yeah, that's all about it. Make sure you don't keep your spiders at too high temperature and too high humidity because they actually don't really like it. They are in their burrow where they have a more or less uh, controlled temperature and humidity area. So, so actually that's all I can say about Pampo Mateus Ornatus. It was a gift from Chris actually. He showed me the location. I didn't do any research on this. So I'm not talking like I have found them in the wild or anything. So it's great to have friends like this. It's great to have people like this in the community who like to share their experience. And if you also do, make sure you subscribe in the comment section and also Leave a comment if you like what you saw. Make suggestions on future videos, on topics who would like to see covered. Would be great to have you on board and that's about it. See you guys next week.